Mark Harrison, Chief Executive of Equal Lives. We're here today because the Disability Assessment Centre in Norwich is still not accessible to disabled people. And as you can see, we've got fantastic support from the public uh, here um, to get rid of the work capability assessment that is ruining disabled people's lives, forcing people off benefits uh, into poverty and misery. And the numbers of uh, deaths and suicides as a result of austerity, welfare cuts, disability living allowance, scrapping, PIP, all of those things. Well, disability hate crime has gone through the roof because the way they've justified the cuts and conned the British public is by having poisonous stories planted by the Conservative Central Office in the Daily Mail, the Daily Telegraph, the Sun, all the reactionary papers um, every day claiming that disabled people are welfare benefit scroungers and they're creating a divide and rule system uh, where they're trying to set poor people against even poorer people. Uh, so, you know, it's no wonder hate crime's gone through the roof. Um, and it's the responsibility of Cameron uh, and his government and now May and her government. The attack on Jeremy Corbyn and John MacDonald is very much part of the establishment attempt to um, carry on with business as usual. You know, Corbyn and MacDonald represent a break from neoliberal welfare policies that have been pursued by New Labour over the past 20 years, 30 years. So we're very pleased that um, John and uh, Jeremy uh, are fighting this and disabled people against cuts uh, support um, them because they've stood up for disabled people right the way through their political careers.